Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Silvana BNL. This is Silvana here. Hope you're all doing great. I already have my face moisturized and primed and my brows are done. I'm just gonna go over the products that I used really quickly for you guys to know. If you like this look, please subscribe to my channel, like, share with your friends and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every week when I post a new video. To moisturize my face, I use the Glam Glow Omega Rich Moisture Trip Face Cream. This moisturizer is lightweight and it has cannabis sativa oil, seed oil which strengthens the skin's barrier function to withstand makeup all day. And then for my eyes, I used the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. I've used this cream a lot and actually replenished it when it ran out. It reduces the appearance of fine lines under the eyes. It's very smooth and it has vitamin C which brightens my under eye as well. To moisturize my lips, I use the AOS Lip Balm which stays on the entire day, doesn't let my lips chaps. It also makes my lipstick glides on so smoothly. To prime my face, I use the Georgette Klinger Marula Primer. I really like this primer because it's lightweight, it's infused with marula oil, which is very moisturizing. It also helps with softening fine lines and preventing stretch marks and nourish the skin. For my brows today, I used the Brow Bar by Rima in the shade Dark. To draw my brows with this powder is very easy, it glides on quite nicely. My only negative thing to say is that the concealer is kind of dark, but it still works to clean up any messes. Then by the time I'm done with my eyes, it doesn't really show, so it's fine. Eyes time, yay! For primer, I use the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand, then I set that in place with the Rimmel London Translucent Powder. Today's look, I'm mainly using the Ace Butte Falling For You Palette. This is a beautiful eyeshadow palette, very affordable has a great selection of colors to help you create so many gorgeous looks. Shadows are very pigmented, long-lasting, easily blendable. Starting with the shade Squash and placing that all over my crease to be my transition shade. This soft pink shade is buildable and it helps so much with darker colors that you place on top. Use the flat blending brush with this color. Next, taking Cranberry to deepen the eyes a little more and give it more dimension using a dome blending brush with it by Besto. I'm placing that all over the crease as well, but just not taking it as high up. This is a beautiful light purple color and it looks so good as you guys can see. Let's darken the outer corner to smoke out the eyes. And for that, I'm using the shade Chestnut with the flat circular brush. Keep this color on the outside to define the eyes and blend as you go. I needed to add a little more of chestnut because the blending made the color lose its strength. On the lid, I'm using the color Apple with my finger to bring out the color even more. I like the shimmer shades in this palette because they're very creamy. They last the entire day, not to mention that they apply evenly on the eye. They're not patchy. I love it because it doesn't need to be wet to apply nicely, even with a brush. So after you apply it, just blend. To line my eyes, I'm using the Luna Liner Water Resistant Liquid Eyeliner. This liner is so soft and glides so easily on the eyes, lasting me the whole day, even with teary eyes. The color is black, as usual, and it, I feel like it complements the purple look I'm creating and adds more contrast to the eyes. I would definitely recommend this. But what I don't like about waterproof eyeliners is unless you're using an oil cleanser to take off the makeup, it's really hard to remove them with, let's, uh, let's say, a makeup wipe. Okay. To line my waterline, I'm using the Burt's Bee Nourishing Eyeliner in the shade Black. When I applied this eyeliner, it was like I'm using a feather to line my waterline. It was so soft and didn't make my eyes tear up at all. Close the gap between the natural eyes and the eyeliner so it would look more natural. Then I use the Me Now Generation Perfect Eye Lip Liner in the color Sky Blue. I honestly feel like these liners are very underrated because they are very affordable and they do a great job in my opinion. They're water resistant and don't run. They're very smooth application, doesn't irritate my eyes have a lot of color variety which you can use for every occasion 
and I've seen reviews that says you can't sharpen them but I sharpen them very easy and when I sharpen them they don't break the color deposit sorry the color deposit is very satisfying curling my lashes using my lash curler then I'm using the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. I like this wand because the bristles are soft, but not too soft that it bends while you're applying the mascara. And the mascara itself is thick, but not too thick that it clumps up the lashes while you're putting it on. And you just have to wipe the wand a little bit when you take it off the, like when you take it out of the tube to apply. The tube also has a locking mechanism which makes the mascara last a long time. I would definitely recommend this mascara to my friends. Now that eyes are almost done, gonna start on the face. I don't like to finish my under eye shadows until I at least finish my under eye concealer and the foundation. Because every time I finish it before, I end up messing the shadows up. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through applying my foundation and concealer. If you guys want me to review the products I'm using on my face and how they wear, please let me know in the comments down below. I decided to finish off my under eyes before I finish the face. So to set that sky blue liner in place, I'm taking the Wonder Beauty Wondrous Escape palette and using the shade she Sea Glass, I'm sorry, on a thin flat brush. Also dragging it a little bit under the eye to show the color clearer. I usually like to do this step even if the liner is waterproof to keep the liner in place throughout the day to pop the color even more and to keep the liner from fading. To finish my under eyes, I'm taking the color Enchanted and using it as my transition shades for the under eye with a flat blending brush. I have used this palette before and created a few lo looks with it. I can honestly say that the shades are very consistent and apply evenly. Having a good base is also very important to make the eyeshadow look very good and don't patch up. This palette is also a good size, meaning you can take it with you anywhere and has a variety of colors that you would, sorry, that would give you the freedom to create multiple looks on the go. To highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, I am taking the color Moonlit on a flat circular brush. I like to do this because it opens up the eyes, they don't look like you're squinting makes you have like big eyes big open eyes and makes you look more awake which I really like to do that and it also gives the eyes a lifted appearance because it makes you guys focus on the highlighter of the brow bone finishing off the eyes with applying mascara on the lower lashes and adding some more on the upper ones I didn't apply lashes today because I usually like to keep lashes for like big events like weddings, parties, not to mention that I feel my lashes are long enough and don't need the false lashes. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm finishing off the face after this and I'm also fast forwarding.
lipstick in the shade number 235, Warm Me Up. This is a beautiful warm nudish pink color, so it's not really strong, which doesn't draw attention to the lips as I wanted to keep the attention on the eye makeup. This is very creamy, but the thing is it doesn't last all day, so you would have to take it with you and do touch-ups throughout. Also, if you're wearing masks, it will rub off, which I didn't really like, but other than that, it's an okay lipstick. I also added the Becca Lip Gloss Brilliant at Livre. I'm probably torturing that, but that's okay. In the shade Camellia, to add a little more shimmer to the lips, because I wanted to brighten it up more that day. To set all these products on my face and prolong it, I use the Iconic London Setting Spray. I like it because it has gold shimmers and which brightens up the face. And then I like to air dry it as I said before. have it a beautiful purple eyes with nudish pink lips look that will make everyone compliment you i really hope you guys enjoy this look and my reviews if you did please subscribe to my channel like share with your friends and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every week when i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye